Welcome everybody back to Hoka Talk A Lot because I'm going to talk a lot of this, talk a lot of that, but just know I'm here, baby, and speak to me nicely. I know you guys are all wondering what the whole fuss was about in my last video because I know you guys saw some crazy clips like this and like this, but don't worry about it because I'm about to explain all that right now. Everything you guys saw in my last video are things that happens in the tongue culture during and after a funeral, which I ain't no expert about, but I know a little something, something, which I'll be talking and sharing about the Tongan traditions that did happen during my dad's funeral. In the Tongan culture, people not only come to eat and mourn, but there be some that be coming just to cry for a fake time, not a good time, or a long time, and some just come to eat for a long time, then dip for a long time. But it's all good, because it's all good. It's all good in the hood. But just know that I see y'all. I see y'all. <laughs> but on a real note, Family are really there to fulfill specific roles, and that was the same at my dad's. And some of those roles that were fulfilled at my dad's funeral was the Fahu, Ulmutua, and the peasants. And you know, like I told you, I ain't no expert, so don't be commenting down below like, Oh, she's so fit, but the da 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 I know, because I told y'all, I ain't no expert, but I know a little something, something. And that's what we're going to start. So we're going to start off right now. The first story we're going to start talking about that was fulfilled at my dad's funeral is the Fahu. The Fahu is the highest ranked person at the funeral. He or she comes from the dad's side. So my dad's Fahu, which is my grandfather's sister on the Fa, was my dad's Fahu, which she represents unification and dignity to the family. She represented my dad in every way, and my dad wouldn't have wanted anybody else but her to Fahu at his funeral. The next role I'll be talking about is Ulmutua. Ulmutua comes from the dad's side. He's a man that makes sure everything is going and not stopping. As in, he makes sure that the kitchen is moving. He makes sure that the people that are coming with gifts is greeted. He makes sure that the grieving family's wishes is fulfilled. And he also has a final say after the burial if everyone goes home or can stay a little bit longer to mourn like this. The last role that I'll be talking about is the peasants, which that role fell upon me and my siblings. We had to make sure everything was ready and prepped for the next day. Had to make sure that the meat was cut up, the vegetables were cut up, the house was clean, the dishes were clean. We had to make sure everything like that was already done, out of the way, and also had to be a host to people that came over to the house to spend time with us. And, you know, there was really no sleep that week which was okay because we wanted to show our dad that we loved him and we appreciated people that came to show love to us and that's what we did. We were peasants, but it's okay because we did it. This leads me to the Mama ceremony or in other words, life celebration. This is done after the burial. This occasion is always done with happiness and dignity. One of the biggest ceremonies that happens at the Mau Mau or the life celebration is the cutting of the hair. Because in the Tong culture, a woman's beauty comes from the hair. But when their father passes away, that beauty goes chop chop. But these are some clips of me, my sister and I, and three of my first cousins cutting our hair at my dad's life celebration. Check it out. <laughs>
As you guys saw in the clip, my sister and I and our three first cousins, who was basically like our sisters, got her haircut. And that's a moment I will always cherish and will forever, ever love because for my three first cousins to do that for me and my sister to stand by our side at the passing of my dad showed us the sign of unity, love, and respect that we had for each other and for our father. And I just want to let them know that I love them so much and they are single by the way. Another major thing in the Tongan culture is if your mother or father has passed away, you will be worn all black for a whole year to show your respect to your mom or father that has passed away. So that's why in every video, you will always be seeing me wearing black until that year mark is over. But black is the new color. Yay!
I'm very proud and grateful that my parents instilled the Tongan culture in me and my siblings' lives at a very young age. Because I know there's times where I'd be like, do we really need to do all this? Like, is it that necessary? But growing up, I see the beauty of the Tongan culture. And I'm very grateful. And I know we need to keep it alive. But I want to let you guys all know, everybody in Tonga, go ofalahi hatu kiamotoru. And without further ado, I want you guys to hit that subscribe button and turn your post and notification bell on to be notified when I drop that next ooh-wee binga yee mm. oh my god okay <laughs> 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 Subscribe. Bye. <laughs> Say go like. Like. And subscribe. Cry. Yeah. <laughs> Say hakka. 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 Chakala. Chakala. Yay. <laughs>